We'll be going over how to add users, enroll fingerprints, and add cards in Biostar 1. First, click on Users in the shortcut pane. You can either add a user by right-clicking on Users and selecting Add User, or by selecting Add New User in the task pane. At the top of the window, you can add basic information such as the user's name, phone number, email address, and admin level. You can add an ID and password that the user can authenticate with. You can set your user's start and expiry dates. Users will only be able to obtain authorization between these dates. You can also add the user's title, mobile number, gender, and date of birth. Click Apply to save your settings. To enroll fingerprints, first click on the Fingerprints tab. Select the device that you want to enroll with. I'll be using a Biomini. If you aren't using a Biomini, your fingers' scores will display as minus one after they are scanned. This is normal and is used to differentiate between Biomini and device enrollments. This does not indicate a low enrollment score. You can select the security level in the drop-down menu below. Beware that the higher the security level, the higher the potential amount of false rejections. You can also select the enrollment quality. Any enrollment score below the one selected will be rejected. The default enroll quality is 80, but if needed, based on the user's enrollment experience, you can lower the quality to 40 or 60. To add a fingerprint, click Add. Up to 10 fingerprints can be added per user, but note that only the BioStation and BioStation T2 can store more than two fingerprints per user. All other devices can only store up to two fingerprints in their internal memory. Follow the instructions given. To ensure a quality enrollment, please watch our video on enrollment practices. If fingerprints are enrolled incorrectly, fingerprint authentication may become inconsistent and very difficult. To verify that the finger has been enrolled correctly, click Verification Test and place an enrolled finger on the scanner. When you have at least two fingers added, you can select a duress finger that will set off silent alarms when used to authenticate. Click Apply to save your settings. To add a card to a user, first click on the Card tab. Select the card type that you want to add. For example, since I have a MyFair card, I'll select the first option. Next, click on Card Management. You have the option to enter the card information manually, where Card ID is the card number and Custom ID is the facility code. Otherwise, you can use a device to read your card. Select the device that you want to scan with. Only devices that can read the selected card type will appear. Ensure that the weakened settings of the device match that of your card or the device won't be able to read it. Click Read Card and place your card near the reader. Once the card has been read, click OK. To add the card to the user, click Apply. In order for your devices to recognize users properly, you need to transfer your users and their information to your devices. To do this, first click Transfer All Users to Device in the task menu. Check the box next to the devices that you want to transfer your users to, and select the users that you want to transfer. You have three options. The first is Transfer to Device. This will add the user information displayed in Biostar to the devices. The next option is Delete Users. This will delete the selected users from the device. The last option is Synchronize All Users. This will ensure that the memory of the device matches the user information in Biostar. This includes deleting users not in Biostar from the device and overwriting users with conflicting information with what has been configured in Biostar.